Assalamualaikum and hi everyone I'm Rashid here and this is Cendana Apparel So today basically I'm going to show you how to separate uh, your colors The design, separate the design colors uh, Manually using Photoshop For separated the simulated process uh, color So Firstly, the design I'm going to use in A3 size. So, firstly, you have to open a new file and set the file as A3 size. Document type, use inter international paper and then select A3 size because the design I'm going to separate is in A3 size the resolutions let it be 300 the color mode let it be RGB so ok so now we have a new file empty file I'm gonna place my design here so file place embed wait a minute and this is my image okay we're gonna separate this metallica design for simulated process okay once you place the image press enter okay and then place a black background because the t-shirt is black the design we will, will print on black t-shirt so the background must be black put a black background okay don't forget to rasterize the image first so this is the file the first thing you have to do is you have to duplicate the file duplicate metallica copy ok the reason I'm doing this because I want to compare the separated colors compare it with the original picture so I can see the difference between the original picture and the one the one that we have been separated so the left side is for comparison the right side is the design that we're going to be separate so go to channel you can see this is rgb channel the rgb channel okay the RGB channel so first thing first create new layer I'm going to rename this as black t-shirt because the design will put on black t-shirts so this gonna be this layer will be your t-shirt so if you print on white t-shirt you have to change the black color to white color same goes to when you want to print on red or yellow t-shirt this layer you have to change according to the color of your t-shirt so in this case I'm gonna print on black t-shirt so it will be black okay first thing first you have to uh, make a layer of uh, base the base will be white so select all the channel select all the channel and then go down here you see load channel as selection click load channel as selection and then the right side is save selection as channel click save selection as channel so you see all the colors of red green blue is being selected so now click on alpha 1 and rename it as 
white base so this gonna be your white base okay don't forget to press control D to deselect all the colors that you have been select so let's see this is your black t-shirt this is your white base the colors is like this because we not yet invert the colors so control i click on your white base and press control i okay so double click on white base and then change to spot color solidity is 85 percent 85 percent for white base okay 85% for white base then the colors change to white ok so this is your white base this is your white base the second layer I think I'm gonna choose maybe white white already done maybe blue or yellow ok let's see and then when you want to go to other colors select all the channel here the RGB channel select it and you go to select top here select and then color range click color range click color range you can see a sample color here sample color red, yellow, green, cyan, blues, magenta I think I'm going to select yellow first select yellow don't forget to tick the invert button invert button so you will invert the selection colors click ok ok now the yellow color in the image have been selected so you have to load you have to save selection as channel save the selection as channel save the yellow colors that you have been selected as a channel so don't forget to press ctrl D to deselect first the one that you have been select just now we select yellow color so you have to ctrl D first to deselect it now go to this alpha one and rename it as yellow rename it as yellow double click on yellow click on spot color solidity is 5% ok usually all the other colors other than white base other than the base is only 5% of solidity for white base you have to put it 85% of solidity ok remember that so the colors is yellow ok choose yellow click ok ok so let's see what other colors we have here uh, I think maybe cyan ok let's try when you want to go to other colors first select all the RGB colors select all the RGB channel then go to select color range and then choose green so I think they have no greens here in this image when don't we jump to other colors maybe red so there's a little bit red here click ok save selection as channel control D alpha 1 change to red double click on red spot color 5% the color is red ok let's see ok so what other colors we have here I think we have cyan here maybe I try to select cyan same as before select all the RGB channels go to select color range and select cyan or blue let's see what blue have here blue and cyan seems seem same 
with cyan and blue so the cyan is more bright the cyan will have more details than blue I think I'm going to go to select the cyan ok click ok then same as before save selection as channel save selection as channel don't forget to control D first ok to deselect all the cyan color that you have been select change alpha 1 to cyan double click on alpha 1 sorry double click on cyan change to spot color solidity also 5% and change the color to cyan ok then click ok ok let's see the result ok so this is the result this is the result so there is very different the result is very different from the actual image so how to adjust this how to adjust this go to white base go to white base control L ok click on white base then control L we're gonna adjust the level of our white base adjust it a little bit adjust it a little bit ok adjust until it is very similar uh, maybe a little more ok ok Okay. Okay. So I think this image we have to put the highlight the highlight. Or maybe the blue color seems more dim here. I think I'll to I think I will select the blue color. Okay, let's do it again. Select all the channel. Go to select color range and select blue. Okay. So same save channel. I'm gonna change this as blue. Control D. Double click on blue. Spot color five percent. Change to blue. Okay. So let's see the result. Okay, now uh, let's zoom it a little bit. Maybe there's a gray base here. When you do manual separation on Photoshop, it's very hard to get 100% same as the image provided so maybe if you get 80% or 90% similar from your image that's also good ok 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 I'm think I'm gonna show you how to create a highlight layer the highlight layer uh, is very important to make your image seems more realistic ok so for the highlight layer you have to select on the green channel ok green channel this is a blue channel this is a green channel red ok green channel right click duplicate channel and uh, I'm gonna rename it as highlight ok double click spot color 5% color white ok 
so we have to control i on here the highlight to invert the image okay control i okay so let's see the result okay this is the result okay this is before highlight and this is after highlight before after before after not all design i will put the highlight channel here if the highlight seems not quite important so i think i'm gonna let it be and don't put the highlight before after before after okay control o to zoom out the image control o not control o okay sorry control zero so this is your image that you have been manually separate from uh, the original picture i think i'm gonna change the blue color to cyan maybe here 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 or here here be here 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 no 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 okay maybe be here oh no uh -huh. okay uh, change the cyan because the blue color seems different from the original picture okay uh -huh. okay okay that's it so let's see okay this is black t-shirt your black t-shirt and this is your first layer of white base white base then we insert the yellow layer and then the red layer and then the cyan and then blue cyan blue and then highlight so the highlight layer seems not quite important here for th for this design so i think i'm gonna delete the, the highlight layer okay that's it you have your metallica design manually separated okay so if you want to go to the film okay i think i'm going to close this tab close it oh okay this is your uh, separated image delete the red green blue channel delete okay and then also delete the black t-shirt delete okay so this is your this is gonna be your film your white base film yellow film red film cyan and also blue first first thing first i'm gonna split this channel okay split this channel wait a minute okay control zero control zero control zero control zero and control zero okay so this is gonna be your white base white base yellow red cyan and also blue film so you're gonna have to half tone this image to make your film 
go to image mode and bitmap bitmap the output is 600 the method is half tone screen you can adjust this one to 100, 1200 or 1800 but the size of your image will be high so I think I'm gonna let, be, let it be as 600 okay for the LPI usually I will use 45 and for simulated process the angle I will use 22.5 this is the best angle this is the best angle for simulated process okay for the half tone angle all the film all the film will be same the angle of the all the film will be the same 22.5 okay remember this the shape I'm gonna use round click OK okay so this is your film for white base that has been half tone okay this is gonna be your film all right so the process of all other film will be the same we we'll go to yellow image mode bitmap output 600 method half tone screen uh, 45 lpi angle 22.5 round shape you can then click ok ok this is your yellow film the red film image mode bitmap 600 output half tone 45 degree 45 degree 45 lpi and 22.5 degree ok and this is your red film uh, same goes to cyan image mode bitmap ok then ok and lastly blue image mode bitmap ok 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 that's it now you have all your film the white base the yellow the red the cyan and also the blue film okay uh, so don't forget to put the registration mark here before you print out the film so the design will be not uh, what did you say so the design will be positioned on the same marking of all film okay okay thanks a lot guys for watching thanks a lot for taking your time to watch this video if you guys have any question uh, that you don't understand you can ask in the comment section below okay uh, if you have any suggestion for me to create a new content you can also put on the section below put on the comment section below okay okay I think that's it thanks guys don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much